Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Turner Mobile Detailing. In this video, we're going to be taking care of some paint splatter removal. Oops. So I'm not totally sure how this all happened, but somehow my client managed to run over a bucket of white kills oil-based primer. And if you've ever done any painting work in your life, you know that kills primer, especially the oil-based stuff, is very heavy duty and is made to withstand lots of abuse and cover up lots of nasty things on the wall underneath. So as you can imagine, it was meant to go on a surface and not come off, as is true really with any oil-based paints. So today we're gonna have our work cut out for us. The can was run over with the front passenger side tire. And as you can see, sprayed and splattered all down the side of the vehicle on the rocker panel here, as well as up on the door panels and on the plastic trim. Now, the challenge is going to be the plastic trim. As you can see, the top edge of the rocker panel is a metal surface, so we'll be able to use a solvent on that, but the trim below it is black plastic, which, if you don't know already, does not play well with solvents and when I say solvents, I'm referring to things like goof off, paint thinner, lacquer thinner. So what we're gonna try to do today is remove it with the least amount of damage as possible. We don't wanna have to repaint the black plastic trim if we don't have to, but we are prepared to do so if necessary. So of course we're gonna be taking the least aggressive route to start with. Our last and most desperate course of action would be to use a solvent like goof off or paint thinner but we don't wanna go down that route to start with. We wanna start with the least destructive method, which is gonna be using something like Goo Gone. Now Goo Gone is different than Goof Off because it's not a flat out solvent. It's actually citrus based. It's made with citrus oils. So instead of drying out the plastics like a solvent will and pulling the pigments out of the plastics, it should actually rehydrate the plastics and possibly even make them look better than they did originally without even having to put any dressing on them. On the paintwork, that should be relatively easy. We can use solvents on the paintwork and on the metal trim that's just above the black plastics. And it should take off the, uh, the oil-based primer. If the Goo Gone doesn't work, we're also going to try some steaming. Hopefully steam will loosen the oil primer. Maybe we'll have to use a combination of steam and Goo Gone. But if those things don't work, then we'll have to step up to the solvents and most likely repaint our black plastic trim. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's try our Goo Gone and a little bit of steam. So the first thing that we're going to do before we get involved in any kind of paint removal is we're going to give the car a solid wash down. That way there's no dirt on the panels and when we're trying to get the paint off the panels, we're not grinding any dirt into the paint, thus scratching the paint. Okay, so we've got the car completely washed down and dried. 
The paintwork is free of any loose dirt or contaminants that could possibly scratch the paint while we're removing the paint splatter. So the first thing that we're going to do is try to remove the paint splatter off the black plastic trim. For that we're going to be using uh, Goo Gone, a non-abrasive scouring pad, and a little steam. So we can see all the paint splatter that's up under on the uh, rocker panel here on the plastic portion as well as up onto the door paint. So from here down, this section here is all porous black plastic, textured black plastic trim. So we're going to saturate the area with some Goo Gone. Let the Goo Gone do its thing for about 30 seconds or so. Let it soak into the plastic, try to work its way underneath the paint spatter. Let's see if we can't loosen it up. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds. So now we're going to try and scrub it down with a non-abrasive scouring pad and see if this can't get it loose. So our Goo Gone and our scouring pad do not seem to be working. Unfortunately, that does not seem to have worked. So let's try a little steam. Let's see if that does anything. Kills primer is very tough stuff. There's a reason it's used in the construction and painting industry to cover everything that's on a wall that you don't want to ever see again. Seems like the steam is, is getting it. There we go. It takes a while, but it did get it off. I'm just afraid that it's gonna take way too long to get all of this off throughout the length of this rocker panel. I'm gonna try this section here up on the fender molding. I'm gonna let it soak the goo gone in for a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of a scrub. Again, that doesn't seem to be doing much. Got the paint off. The problem is the steam seems to be melting the plastic just a little bit so steam may not be our best option here. We just may have to graduate to uh, using a solvent. So the first thing we're gonna try is goof off. We're gonna put some on our scouring pad. This seems to be working on a surface level problem with this black plastic trim is the texture. Stuff gets down inside that texture it can be much more difficult to remove. Okay, so we've got the section of paint removed. It seems that the goof off didn't really discolor the black plastic too much, although it is still a little damp from the uh, solvent. I'm gonna try and preserve that. I'm gonna try to wash off the solvents from the goof off with Goo Gone right now to try to prevent any discoloration. If we can get away with using a solvent without discoloring the plastic trim, that'll be a major win. The key here is to be nice and gentle and also the key is to spray the solvent, in this case goof off, onto your scrubbing pad and not on the plastic trim. You don't want to saturate it any more than you absolutely have to. 
And as soon as the paint is removed, you're going to wash it off with some Goo Gone. And that seems to be working very well. Of course, the real test is after we've done all the plastic and we come back after it's had a chance to dry and off gas the solvents from the goof off to make sure it's not discolored after it's totally dry. there we have it this method seems to be working really well what I'm gonna go ahead and do is keep on going I'm gonna time-lapse the rest so you don't have to watch me do the rest it's probably gonna take at least a couple hours to do the rest of the trim so let's do it So before we go any further on the black plastic trim, uh, while we're up front here in the front quarter panel area, I wanna see what we can do with the paint that's on the wheel here. We Obviously you can see we've got uh, paint on the wheel itself and then paint that's been browned and gotten pretty dirty on the tire itself. These factory wheels are clear coated just like the paint on the car is. So I'm not nearly as worried about using a solvent on that. So let's spray some on our towel and see what we can do here. Now the paint here on the wheel is much thicker. They're not just little splatters, but they're, it's actually sheeted with the paint. But it looks like the goof off is taking it off slowly but surely. Let's spray some directly on the affected area here. this scouring pad I'm being very gentle it really doesn't have a whole lot of bite to it and it's pretty worn so I'm not really too worried about scratching but I still want to be gentle nonetheless if it does scratch a little bit I can always hit it with a little compound afterward so some areas are coming off fairly easy and then other areas are much more stubborn slow process you just have to be patient just to see what happens we're gonna try a little paint thinner I'm not worried about the paint thinner harming the clear coat on the wheel clear coat is extremely durable to chemicals and solvents. So it's really safe to use even lacquer thinner. Although lacquer thinner, you really should be pretty careful and use it sparingly. 
paint thinner isn't quite as strong as lacquer thinner. Spray down the area with some goo gone. Wipe it down. Get all those harsh solvents off the surface best you can. Now the challenge is going to be the tire. Honestly, I've never cleaned house paint off a tire before. Again, we're going to start with the gentle option with some Goo Gone and our scouring pad. That actually seems to be working to a degree anyway. Let's try some goof off. I was really worried that the paint would absorb into the rubber too much where we couldn't extract it out with a solvent and that we'd have to scrub the tire or the rubber with like a steel brush or stainless steel brush something like that and risk ruining the tires finish but it seems like the solvent is doing the trick although I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it out from all inside and around the tiny lettering that's on the tire Also, all these little tiny lines on a tire, these are called tire sipes. And obviously the paint is all up inside there too. So for these tire sipes, I am going to use a little stainless steel brush. See if I can't clean it out of there very good and look at that. It seems to be getting in and there pretty good. Get all that paint out of there. And the treads too a little bit. And I'm not going to go too nuts on the tire because as the tire gets dirty, the paint will blend right in. looks pretty good for now what we're gonna do is let it dry let it off gas all the solvents that we just introduced to the rubber and see what it looks like later on how much white of the paint is left over on a nice dry tire so now that we've got our fender trim and uh, the wheel and tire pretty much clean of the paint debris we're gonna keep on going with our rocker panel from here back
All right, we finally got all our paint splatter off of our black plastic trim along the rocker panel, uh, along the back edge of the vehicle, even uh, up on our fender trim. The wheel and tire have been cleaned of paint spatter. Now it's time to tackle the paint and the chrome molding that borders between the black plastic molding, the rocker panel molding, and the door paint. Now for cleaning the paintwork in this chrome strip, I'm going to be using straight up paint thinner. I actually had just enough uh, goof off to do the black plastic trim, so I don't even have any of that left. But the paint thinner should do nicely on the paintwork and the chrome molding. So the paint thinner really wasn't doing what I needed to do. It was cutting through the paint, but very, very, very slowly. So I actually ran out and picked up some lacquer thinner, and I picked up another bottle of the Goof Off just in case the lacquer thinner doesn't work the way I think it should. So let's try the lacquer thinner. Now if you're gonna be using lacquer thinner to clean paint splatter or other kind of splatter off of your paintwork, absolutely make sure none of it gets on your black plastic trim because this absolutely will discolor it.
Okay, so finally, about four, four and a half hours later, we've got all the paint removed. Unfortunately, the scrubbing process on the paintwork did leave a little bit of marring, so we're just gonna clean that up really quick with some scratch removing compound by hand. Okay, so now that the paintwork, the black plastic molding, and the chrome moldings are free of paint splatter, and also the paintwork is free of any marring that was left behind from scrubbing the paint splatter off, it's time to clean the paint and all the surfaces that we use solvent on one last time to make sure that our finishing products adhere properly and the car looks brand new. Basically for this step, I'm just going to use my IPA prep spray. That'll do a good job of neutralizing any solvents that are left over on these surfaces. Okay, so now that everything is clean, wiped down, and totally prepped, we are ready for our finishing. I'm not going to be throwing a coat of wax on the paint, but I am going to be restoring the trim just to bring it back to its original deep black finish. The main problem area today was the trim. It did get a little discoloration, as you can see, from the solvents that we used today, both goof off and paint thinner. Not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, so some black trim restorer should do fine. Today we're going to be using Exoforma's black trim restorer. This has got black dye in it, so it should go a long way in covering up any little bit of discoloration in the trim, and it'll keep the trim looking good for around six months. Okay, we are all set, totally done. I went ahead and finished applying Exoforma's black plastic trim restore with black dye in it around the entire vehicle. I gave it about 15 minutes to cure and then I buffed it off. While it was curing, I went ahead and put some Meguiar's hyperdressing on the tires just to give it that nice last touch. As you can see from the after footage, compared to what it looked like before, the passenger side of the vehicle looks absolutely amazing. It looks brand new. If we take a look at what the vehicle looked like before on the passenger side, the rocker panel, the door panels, the chrome trim, even some on the wheels and tires was covered in paint splatter. And not just any paint, remember, but kills oil-based primer, which is incredibly tough stuff. But look at it now. No paint splatter. Nice, clean, shiny, glossy paint. Nice, clean, deep black plastic trim. A nice, clean and dressed wheels and tires. So 
thanks for watching everyone. If you've had an oops of your own and you somehow splattered paint on your vehicle, I hope this video will help you be able to clean it off quickly and efficiently. Well, as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you found value in this video, would you please be so kind as to leave a like right down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel where we have lots of detailing videos, tips and tricks, how to's, even how to's on how to clean up nasty messes, just like this. So thanks again for watching. I'm Seth with Turner Mobile Detailing, and we'll see you in the next video.